Good day. My name is Bogdan Salonko, and I'm the author of the scientific work Method Diagnostic of non monotonous Fragments in the Human Body. The method of war have changed digitally over the last century. If early wars were fought at distance of several kilometers, now the distance of the battle can reach tens of kilometers and the distance of the impact weapon hundreds of kilometers. With the change in distance, the main type of weapon also changed, from machine guns and rifles to the art system and strategic aviation. If early, the majority of injuries were caused by bullets. Now, with the spread of rockets, bombs, mines, shells and other types of ammunition, a significant proportion of injuries are caused not by bullets, but by fragments. There are different types of diagnostic of fragments in the human body. CT, MRI, X-ray, magnet, tube observation. The use of these devices, such as MRE or X-ray, is limited to hospital or, in some cases, military ambulances. Large dimension, dependence of the source of electricity, and the difficulty of using this device in the conditions of warfare can lead to untimely diagnostic of the location of the fragments, which can lead to the complication and, in case of critical interest, to death. Fragments can be the result of the rupture of various types of weapon. That is, the material of the fragments can be different too, starting from glass and iron ending with a plastic and composite. The features of this material do not allow for quick and effective use of existing diagnostic tools. Talking into account the above, the possibility of providing a priority medical car becomes even more complicated. The biggest danger is a small fragments. Regardless of their size, they prevent the healing of the wound. Besides, they are difficult to detect and remove. It should be remembered that despite the simple ballistic of the fragments, which resemble the cone, the destruction of the fragment inside the wound is possible, and as a result, the formation of additional lateral wound channels that must be scanned. Modern methods involve scanning the human body using contact with the fragments in a non-physical way. For example, magnetic fields. Due to the formation of a wound channel by fragments, even if we cannot see it, we can physically contact it. During non-static contact with the fragments, a noise emission is generated. Using this effect, we can scan the walls of the wound to find the location of the fragment. In the scientific work, we decision the device. Consider the static model of this device. Let's start with the variable part. The flexible tube 1, connected to the fastening element 2, enters the wood channel. Burst 3 is slightly longer than the tube and looks out of it. During the passage of the wound channel it touches it and creates noises, and accordingly oscillation, which are transmitted through probe 3 to the reusable part. The fastening element 2 is attached to the element 4. The reusable part is attached to the replaceable part by fastening element 2, which is circularly attached to the holder handle 7, in which the microphone 6 is mounted. The extension of the bush 3 is attached to the membrane 5, which accordingly creates vibration. There are picked up by the microphone 6. Then the signal is transmitted by wire 8 to a computer of other device with the necessary software. Let's consider the dynamic model of this device. Before the start of use, part 1 and part 2 are fastened with fastening element 2 and 4. Holding this device by element 7, tube 1 with bush 3 is inserted into the wound. When in contact with the surface, noise occurs which is transmitted in the form of vibration transmitted by the bush 3 through the connection to the membrane 5, which generates noise. The microphone 6 catches the noise and transmits it in the form of electrical signal to the device with an operative software for further processing of the signal. In addition, an experiment was conducted to remove these fragments from a human body simulator. The rule of the simulator was performed by a surgical simulator. An analysis of the noise emission obtained during the experiment was carried out. The controlling values were the amplitude A and the values of spectrum N. As a result of the study, little signs and amplitude regardless of the type and size of fragments appears randomly. Unlike the amplitude, the bandwidth of the frequency emission spectrum clearly defines the approximate size and types of the fragments. However, some shortcomings and specific objects using this device should be noted.
Evacuation and assistance of the wounded in the war takes place in several stages. The first stage is stabilization and removal of pain shock until preparation for transpiration. The second stage of sorting the wounded is full preparation for transportation and evacuation. And before the surgical preparation, the third stage of transportation in the hospital and the provision of surgical case. The use of this device is possible and finished second stage and third stage. In addition, the use of this device is limited to nine days after the injury. We are currently creating a few working prototype of this device. This device will be shown in the competition. Thank you for your attention. I hope my development has interest.